Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be going over the new Trip to Egypt mod by Nando, and I'm so excited to show this to you guys. Nando has been working hard on this mod for like over three months. He's also the creator of the Asian Adventures mod, which I also did a mod review of, so I will link that in the description below if you wanna take a look at that. But there is a lot that is going into this. There is a new build and buy objects, a new cast object, so much that has just gone into this world and it's gorgeous, so I'm just going to show that to you guys in just a minute. So the first thing I'll let you guys know is number one, mods can only be downloaded for PC and Mac, so they cannot be downloaded for a console. If you don't know how to download mods, I will link a video of how to in the description below. However, there are specific instructions to download this mod and Nando has those instructions on the download page. So just make sure you take a look at that and read that carefully when you are downloading it. And then you also need specific packs. The required packs are Strangerville, Island Living, Get Famous, Eco Lifestyle. So since it does say required packs, I assume that this does not work without those packs. So that is just a disclaimer for you. It also says that the recommended pack is Jungle Adventures. So that pack is not required, but it probably helps a lot with the mod. This mod is also coming out on Sunday, June 28th of 2020 for early access on Patreon, which is the day that I am uploading this video. And then it says it will be available for public release later in July of 2020. However, there's not a specific date. But once I find out the specific date, I will put that in the video description below. So just be sure to check back. I'm sure Nando will have the official date out soon, but I will link the post on Patreon and his Patreon in the description below. So you can download that either for early access or to check out when it's available for public release. So yeah, this mod replaces Strangerville. The world is called Dakarai. So on Nando's official press post, it says, welcome to Dakarai. This mod transforms the world of Strangerville into a modern day Egyptian inspired world. Travel to a thriving city that recently started out modernizing their town with new sky Scrapers. Will you be living near the Dakarai Plaza or do you prefer a more secluded life on the Dakarai Hills? So this would be the Dakarai Hills. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, by the way. I looked it up on the internet and that's what the internet told me how to pronounce it. So hopefully they were right. But the first thing I'll show you guys is just an overview of the world. So actually, you know what? Let me first show you the map view. So if you take a peek at your worlds, there is this new animated icon for Dakarai. However, it still does say Strangerville. And he does say the name of the world is still going to appear as Strangerville. However, there's tutorials on how you change that manually for each save on YouTube. So I will link that video in the description below if you wanna know how to change the name of your worlds. But yeah, this is such a cute little icon, I love this. And then this is the map view, so it does say in here, there's a new map view in EA style. The only lot that is not here from Strangerville, from the original Strangerville world, is where the lab was. However, if you hover over it, it still highlights a little bit, but you can't actually go there, which honestly is fine by me. They replaced it with some pyramids, so that's really cool. But we are currently here. The Sims family I'm using, it does, okay. So it says Salvadorada Royals. If you don't know, on my channel, I have a royal family series. So if you're interested in that, I'll link that in the description below. I have like seven different royal families and like Windenburg and Willow Creek and everywhere. So this is just one of them, obviously from Salvadorada. And then the Pharaoh hat that he is wearing, I just put it on him on a random outfit. This is what comes with this pack. So I'll show you guys that in live mode as well. But right now we're over here. So I'll show this to you guys. So, I mean, you guys just saw. It's so cool and it's gorgeous. It looks like the differences that I'm noticing from Strangerville. Number one, the hills and like the rocks and the, I guess the canyons, they're a different color. Like in Strangerville, they're much more red. And then here, they're a lot lighter color. Oh, and then another thing I need to add is that this mod does not come with new lots. So when you download it, it will still have all the lots from Strangerville. So I just downloaded these from the gallery. I just typed in the hashtag Egyptian. So these are just some random lots from the gallery, but I thought they fit pretty well. Also, you can see a little pyramid in the background over there. But yeah, so the little mother plants that were around here are gone. There used to be some cherry blossom trees around here and those are gone as well. Oh, wait. Okay, so it does look like there's still a little bit of the mother plant thingies. What are they called? They're just like the little mother plant babies. Anyway, some of them, it does look like are still here, but there's a lot less that I'm noticing than there was before. Nando also does provide the cheat if you want to end the story mode for Strangerville. So that cheat, you'll just type into the cheats bar and then the code, I have it on now, so I'm, this might turn it off. Oh no, sorry, it just turned it on. Okay, so I need to turn the toggle stories off. So the code is tm.toggleestory. So tm toggle story. So you want that to be off and that should get rid of the whole Strangerville thing and won't have possessed zombie people walking around everywhere. But yeah, so this is the hills and then let's go ahead down to the more modern city area. All right, so this is the 
downtown city. There's the new skyscrapers, the new buildings. This building right here is so neat. I do see a little bit of the spores flying around still, but it also looks like there's a lot less than usual. I've only defeated the mother plant once in Strangerville, and I don't remember if the spores disappeared after I did that. So I don't know if it helps to defeat the mother plant during the... I actually, I have my other save file that we can go check that out too, because I actually finished the story there. So maybe I'll do that at the end of this video. But yeah, so there's all of these new buildings that have been added. These are the ones that you can't go to. They're just for background stuff. And then we have the pyramids in the background. So that's where the lab was before. There used to be this like weird looking gas station here. So I'm pretty sure that's gone too. But this is amazing. I mean, this has to take so much work to be able to replace all of this. Nano and his team did such a good job. This is amazing. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the new build and buy objects that this pack comes with. So I put them all out here. First thing I have to show you guys is the floors and the wallpaper because it is so cool. Like, okay, so this is one of the wallpapers. Look at the shine on this. Like if you move your camera, you can see that shine. I tried to like bring out other tiled wallpaper, other tiles for the walls and none of them did that. It's gorgeous. It also has like the matching flooring for this too. They come in different swatches as well. This one, yeah, it's called Emerald Dreams. This one, oh, I don't know why the icon comes out like that, but this has a greener version and then like a more teal version. They're both so pretty. And then same thing with the flooring. This one also has a teal version too, but that one doesn't come out with the X in between. I don't know why I was doing that, but it seems to work fine. And then this wallpaper right here. So it's called Secret Dungeon Stone. This has so many cool swatches and then also matching flooring for that too. Also just the way that these are presented in build and buy mode, they actually seem like they are from EA. They put descriptions and made names for all of the objects, which I just appreciate the work that went into that. So yeah, that is the wallpaper. This is the flooring called Legendary Stone, but it does come with two beds. It comes with two new chairs. So it's like a dining chair and a living chair. This, I believe, oh, it's a hallway filler. Okay, so it's just like a kind of like an ottoman, I guess. This right here, it's called Just a Hole. Oh, oh okay, that's, that's a closet. It's a dresser. And then they have another dresser too. Another one right here. These come in different swatches as well. I like the white one, that's really pretty. It also comes with a nightstand and then a little snow globe here called Egypt Snow Globe. I'm curious what this looks like, I'm blowing it up. Okay, yeah, there's a pyramid inside. It comes with a cactus and it comes with this other plant here. I think this is an aloe plant. Yeah, it's called aloe you very much. That's adorable. It comes with two carpets, the wicker wicker rug and the flying carpet. This one also comes with different swatches that are really neat. So you can see some of them here. Ooh, that one's cool. Yeah, you can see some of them here. This one comes with just a few different swatch colors, so not any new designs. And then this is another flooring. This is not a carpet, but that one comes with some different swatches too. And this is another one of my favorite wallpaper. It's called Losing My Marbles. This, oh my God, it's just gorgeous. The shading of these colors, it's not too red. It's like very dark. It just looks, I, I can put this in the palaces that we have. I'm so excited to do that. It's just so grand and elegant. It also comes with this room divider that comes in different swatches. And then this is a new stone tile too. It's kind of hard to see because we're on the sand. I actually put it in this house here. So this is a wicker flooring or a rattan flooring. And then this is the stone tile. You can kind of see it in here if I take off the grid. So yeah, that's most of the build and buy objects. And then as I said, the Pharaoh hat comes with the pack as well. And I believe that is the only create a sim item. So I just put this on him. It came with a few different swatches. I think like four different swatches. I'm not gonna have him wear that, but I mean, obviously if you have a trip to Egypt, mod, I feel like the Pharaoh hat is kind of a necessity. So that's just cool to have. There's also a new soundtrack by Simsy45. I will admit, I do not really play the game with the sound on very often. So I would not be able to tell the difference between the new soundtrack and the original soundtrack. I tried to listen before I filmed this video and I was like, I don't want to say it's the new one if it's not. So I'll, I'll let you guys listen for that. And yeah, just like the new things that were added, the canyons in the back and all of the just ground and dirt. They're all just a different color. And then just the buildings that were added too. It's very cool. It's very modern. I like that you have kind of two different options. Like you have the downtown that's more modern, but then you can live in the hills, which is more secluded. Let me actually go take a look at my other save file and see if all those spore things go away if you finish the story. Okay, so I'm in my actual royal family save file now. So none of these buildings I have updated to match the new world, but it does look like they're, oh, his outfit. Oh, okay. His outfit's a little bit ridiculous. 
let's just ignore that. Um, but even though I have finished the story, it still looks like those little, sp I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. Yeah, like there's there's one right here. So it looks like these spores are still around even though I have finished the story. But honestly, they're barely noticeable. You could pretend they're like, I don't know, flower petals or something happy, not some weird creepy possessed spore things. But yeah, so that's everything. Just remember to check out the links in the description below for information on to download the mod and also to keep an eye out for the public release date, which will be later in July. Just a note for the people who do watch my Royal Family series. I do already have a story plot planned with this new world. So I'm excited to show that to you guys. But let me know what you guys think of the new world. Let me know your favorite part about it. If this video was helpful and you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.